Now, um, we're going to establish some things. I'm sure I'm not going to do anything that you haven't done with Mr. Hogan initially, but every teacher has their own style. And what we need to do is to establish between us what my style is, and you need to understand what it is so that we can get through quickly. Now, the first thing is, uh, what I like to do in order to stop everybody when we're all like this is I just do that. So can everybody copy me when I do that? That's it. Okay. And keep watching me because I'm very crafty. Again. Okay. Keep watching. Okay. okay. <laughs> Told you. Okay. Keep watching. That's all right then, isn't there? No problem with that. Okay. Got my beady eye on you. I want to make sure everybody does this. Good. Like the smiles. Good. Here we go. When you're doing these kinds of rhythms, give yourself some words and it will help you. So if you just add the parts of the body that you're touching, it will help you. Shoulders, clap, clap, knees. Head, shoulders, 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 knees. But you were still doing it accurately, even when we got faster and faster and faster. And how did we achieve it? How did we get quieter? What did we do? Um, we used uh, less, um, less of our body, so we did, first we did claps, and then mm -hmm. we used um, four fingers and three mm -hmm. fingers and mm -hmm. two fingers and one finger, and then we just stopped. Exactly, absolutely, yeah. perfect description. Yeah. The art of good learning is to stack up your learning. So learning to do that is learning to stop. Learning to get slower, learning to get faster, learning to get quieter, learning to get louder. You need to stack them all up so that when you play your instruments in a minute, you're able to use all these things in order to create the piece of music we're going to create.